Hey everyone, this is Aisha of Reliable Designs by Aisha and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am participating in a collaboration and the collaboration is titled Summer Bar Cart 2020 and it's hosted by Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis and Marilyn of Fabulous Designs on a Budget, all right? And what we had to do was decorate a bar cart or um, some space in our home. And since I don't have a bar cart, I have an actual bar in my home, I decided to to decorate the countertop on on my um in my bar area all right so let me turn the camera around and let you see what i have done okay so something that we're supposed to do um with the summer bar cart is to make a drink so the drink i'm going to be making is called a crown apple pleaser and I'm going to be listing the um, ingredients in the description box below, so make sure you check it out. But what you will need is two ounces of Crown Royal Apple or any apple um, alcoholic beverage. And what I'm going to be using is something called the R&R &R Apple. Okay, and as you see, um, it's almost half full, but it's really good. All right, you will also need two ounces of cranberry juice. So I'm just going to be using this kind right here. All right. You will also need lime, two wedges of lime, and I've already cut mine up. All right. And you also need ice and a spoon to just stir, you know, if you want to stir it up to mix it all together. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, oh, and I'm going to be using a glass of your choice. All right, so now I have my crushed ice. And what you have to do now is to add two ounces of apple um, liquor. All right, so I'm not going to be measuring mine out because I don't have a measuring cup or anything. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So I'm just going to pour that amount. All right, and next all you have to do is add some cranberry juice and it's two ounces of cranberry juice and again I'm just going to eyeball it All right, and I've already put my ice in and I'm just gonna give it a little stir I'm just going to take my um, lime and just put it directly into my drink, just like so. All right. And there you have a crown apple, apple pleaser. All right. And that is how it looks. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you my bar area that I decorated. All right. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go over and check out Fabulous Designs on a Budget, as well as Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis's channel. And make sure you go and check out the playlist. All right? All right. So here is my bar area. All right, everyone. So first of all, I'm going to show you the bar that's in my home. This is the area right here. Um... And it came with the house. This is just a little area in our home where when we have friends and family over, we entertain in this area. All right. So let me go in a little closer to show you what I have put here, the things that I have added. All right. So first, I'm going to show you right there in the back is the speaker that um, it's just one of them. I have two, but that's just one of them. The one that I showed you that would be a great Mother's Day gift. I showed a video of that. Um, so I added this into my bar area so that we can listen to music um, when we have, um, you know, guests over and entertaining. So that's there. All right. So let me start here on this side. All right. So I have a wine station right here. Um, and I decided to add this beautiful wine o'clock um, decor here. And this was given to us, my husband and I, for my nephew and his girlfriend, um, Christmas. It was last Christmas. They gave this to us. So I decided to add it here and just put, um, a bottle of wine behind it. And, um, when someone wants wine, all they have to do is just reach over, pull the wine up. And once they finish, they can just put it back over in that area, in this area here. Okay. 
And so that's what I have there. All right, and I have right here, um, this is a DIY I did um, during the Christmas holidays. And it's just a little um, foam ball with some toothpicks in it and I spray painted it. And I decided to add this here just to give it a little um, nice look, a, lo a nice little home decor look here at my bar area. All right, let me give you a closer look at it. All right, and that's my wine o'clock sign. All right, so coming on here in this area right here, this is the station um, pretty much where I have all the um, alcoholic beverages. Um, right here, as you see, I just decided to add four of them here. And if anyone want any of these, they can just grab it um, from here, open it up, and just pour it in a cup. All right. Okay, so let me show you right here in the back. I have added my beautiful flowers. This is a pink hydrangea, and I've been had it for a real uh, about maybe about a year now. All right, and all I did was add it into my beautiful. Um, Let's see if I can show it to you. My pineapple that I showed you that my husband purchased for me from uh, Joann's. All right. And since the color scheme that I'm using is gold and that um, like a pearl white color, I decided to stick with that and just add this pop of pink because pink is a very pretty color and I love, love pink. So I decided to add the pink to it. All right, and right here, I just decided to add the wine glasses that I have, and I just put four wine glasses. All right, and right here in the middle is um, this little container here, and this was given to us also by my nephew, um, our nephew and his girlfriend. He gave this to my husband and I for Christmas. No, I think it was Christmas or my husband's birthday. I can't remember now. But it was given to us last year. All right. And these glasses um, came with this um, container here. And this container here is where you can put um, your liquor or whatever it is that you want to put in here and just open the top and drink, you know, pour it from there. And these are the beautiful glasses that came with it. It's very beautiful. All right. Okay, so let me go here to the side. And all I did here was just add two bottles of water as well as two bottles of um, ginger ale and also two bottles of um, iced tea. And it's the peach kind just in case someone don't want any um, alcoholic beverages. They can, you know, get them, grab them a, a tea, a peach tea. All right, and right here in the back, right here, I added this um, some lemons into this... Um, a cute little jar this little jar that I bought um, and this was the um, I bought this jar from uh, one of the stores that were going out of business all right well, I might have got it from Ikea I can't remember now exactly but um, that's what I put the lemons in all right and I decided to add some peppermint as you see right here just one of the wine glasses that I have that cute little glass and I decided to add peppermint to it just in case someone wants a peppermint after they finish drinking, it's right there for them to get. All right, now coming over here to the right side, I have added another one of my um, DIYs here that I did. It looks just like the one that I showed you on the other side. And all I did was add right here is a big bartender's book. And this book here... Uh, my husband and I has we've had this book for years and it just show you different cocktails um, that you can make in it and it's um, you know from A to Z so whichever cocktail that you would like you know that a person would like to have they can just go in here and find it and um, mix it up all right and I just put that right here just so um, you know I guess can see it and if they want to, you know, mix a drink or something, they have the opportunity to do that if they would like to. All right. Okay, so this is how everything looks right now. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the lights off and I'm just going to show you how my husband have decorated our bar area. He has added some lights 
to this bar area that is very nice and I'm going to show you that but also let me show you here I have added my little and sign and it's it's lights so I'm going to be turning this on and over here on this side I just decided to add one of the um joints that my daughter did she did an ace um ace of hearts and I decided to add that to the bar area because I thought that would look nice in here all right so let me show you how it looks with the lights on that my husband added all right so these are the lights that my husband added and um in in the bar area and i have turned on the and sign i told you it looks like lights so i think this is really great for when we're entertaining in this area and have the lights on you know everyone is dancing and just having a great time all right so i wanted you to see that 